Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the third video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of like what is ServiceNow and different uses of ServiceNow, what are the different services available and also we have seen like what are the sectors where ServiceNow is being used, right? And also we have got an idea about the certification, the system administrator certification. And like I said, if you watch this complete series of service now in my channel, then after that you can apply for the examination. And if you get passed, then you will get the certification, which is very, very important certification. Okay. And also I've discussed like with the certification and after you pass the examination, uh, like wh what are the sectors you can go where service now is being used, right? So all of the things has been discussed in my last video. So guys, if you miss my last video, so don't worry, I'm going to put the link in the description. Also, you can find the link right now on your screen here. Okay. So let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. All right. So first we will see the different releases of ServiceNow. So we'll understand uh, about ServiceNow releases. And finally, we will sign up for our free developer account. Yes, guys. So after watching this video, you will have your own ServiceNow account where you can practice with me with the video and also you can explore different things of ServiceNow. So just take a note, like if you want to go for apply for the examination and also if you want to learn about the ServiceNow, you need to have this developer account. Okay, so let's see. So ServiceNow releases. So ServiceNow releases is not a kind of a complex concept, guys. It's pretty simple. So it's same like your mobile version, mobile Android version, like right. So right now we are having the Android P1. Before that we have the Android Oreo, then Android Nougat, Android Marshmallow. So different version releases, right? And each of these version has the new, we have the, got the new features, new application update and many more stuff, right? So in the same way, ServiceNow also releases this version or ServiceNow instances. So, and like we have for Android, we name it as a Marshmallow, Nougat, okay, like that. So in ServiceNow, the releases starts with the name of a city, okay? So it's like London, Quebec, Rome. Okay, San Diego is like that. So we're going to see it, all those releases, uh, the features and their date in a minute. But before that, we have to understand that ServiceNow releases contains this feature release first, where the version, new version get releases, like the Android versions we have for our phone. Then we have the patch release. So what is a patch release? Patch release means like suppose something ServiceNow has released, which is not working, right? Some bugs are there. So with the help of the patch release, all those issues got fixed in service now right so even on our mobile phone we see that we get system update very often right in our phone why because to fix some bugs we see if we go to the update details we can see that uh, the update has been pushed for fix those things few things maybe adding some new features sometimes so in a same way service now also perform these things and also hot fix hot fix means the quick fix so something is not working and quickly it can be fixed with a hot fix update okay so this is how it works okay so service now releases circle is six to eight months so that means in a year generally service now publish two instances or two versions new versions okay which contains new ui new apps new features like we discussed already now in my right hand side of my screen you can see there is a chart where you can see the feature releases and the year so like i said the feature names as the city name okay so it's kingston uh, London, both release on 2018. Uh, we have the six to eight months release cycle. Then we have Madrid and the New York for 2019. And 20, we have also Paris, 21, Quebec, Rome, and 2022. We are right now having San Diego or Tokyo. San Diego and Tokyo. Okay. So again, it's same like the Android version. So if we talk about each and every software requires updates and to fix some issues to update with new features, we have it, right? So even we have, we got notification in our phone to update our Android application. So in the same way, ServiceNow also releases these updates. Okay. So just to give you an idea what I have discussed, just to put it, put it on a diagram. So it's like the feature release, when a feature releases, then we also have a patch release to fix the uh, issue whichever we have in the new feature or uh, new version of service now. And also with that, sometimes it pushed some hot fixes so that to fix the quick issues, right? So this is how the whole service now releases works. Okay. 
now so in this video i won't be able to explain each and everything about service now releases but if you want to know each on everything about service now releases i'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that so let's go to the chrome so this is my browser so from here i will go to the you know right the service now documentation page so it's docs.servicenow.com already the url has been shared in my last video also i'm gonna share in this video also okay so that you can watch so this is the product documentation website of service now and in the last video also i was showing you that on the right side we have the release notes and updates right so here you will get all the releases details like you can see tokyo uh, release it released on august 2022 then san diego we have quebec rome paris okay so now you can click on any of these releases for example i click the rome one and now you can see under the rome release notes we have each and every details okay how it has been prepared and what are the patch see rome patch 5 uh, then hotfix there is a hotfix on that is released on 18 january 2021 so all these details you will get it in the service now product documentation page like i said if you want to learn about the service now system administrator course you have to follow this website this website and also the community website okay so this is all about service now release now the very importantly we are going to create our developer account so to create a developer account first a little concept that we need to understand about this service now id okay so first you need to go to the developer.servicenow.com so developer.servicenow.com this is the website from where you can get the service now developer instance right now here you need to click on the sign up and start building so service now is giving you the opportunity to use their instance to learn uh, more about explore about service now there are so many demo content would be available we will see in service now that we can use you can see sign up for a service now id so you can sign up for it and you will get a service now id now service now id is very very important guys because it's like a google id it's like a gmail so with your one single gmail account you can log all of the google services right like for example google photos google drive uh, many other things like email so you can log all those google services in a same way once you have the service now id you would be able to log in with all the service now services like developer account uh, then we have these uh, you can also log in with the help of the uh, service now id right so now you can create a service now id directly going to the service now.com and going to the profile and create id and from here also developer.servicenow.com you can create a service now id you can see it is written sign up for a service now id so i already have the service now id so it's pretty easy guys so you need to fill up all this information and once you click on sign up you will have the service now id created so it, your email id and the password that you are going to provide that would be your service now id and password then all you need to do is to sign in to an existing account you need to click on here and here they would ask you for your email id and password so let's quickly log in so here you need to put the email id my email id has already been there and click on next now i'm going to put the password then you need to click on sign in so once you click on sign in you would be logged in to the service now developer and now you can request for a service now instance you can see once you log in it is showing me hello pritam and it is asking for start building and or request instance so both are the same thing so you can click any of them and it would ask you to choose the service now instance you want to use so you can see for tokyo we have no instance available it is showing uh, we have a san diego rome quebec so you can see at the moment we do not have any instance for rome and quebec but for san diego we can have the instance so now again you can start with any of this version okay so it's like you can start with rome quebec or tokyo all the things that you are going to learn from this course that would be pretty much same in all the versions okay so i'm going to click on san diego one that's the 2022 one and because only this version has got the release instance available so i'm going to click on request so now it would take two to three minutes to load up your instance and it would come up quickly with the username and the password all right so within a minute i get my instance so it is saying your instance is ready so this is my instance id so once you will register for it for the developer account then you will get it the instance okay then username and password you will get it the username would be admin for all of you so now i can click on this url directly and it will open the developer instance 
so congratulations this is your service now instance this is a san diego version so it's it looks quite different than the rome one the previous one okay uh, but again like i said all the services and all the functions are same so if you if you are using a older version of service now that does not matter so to get the menu i need to click on the all button here and i will choose the pin option so now i will get the menu every time when i open service now so this is on my left hand side it is the all the things are called the application so we'll know more about it just to give you an idea and this is your id so you can see i have logged in as a system administrator this is a default image right so this is all about getting a service now instance and starts with a service now instance right so congratulations you have your personal developer instance ready now now you can follow throughout this course and lectures and you will get and you can practice it on the service now right so this is it for today guys if you like the video hit the like button if you have any question or any doubt while creating the while getting this uh, developer instance please ask me on the comment section i would love to help you and also share this video with your friends and families so that they can learn about it okay okay so see you in the next video guys bye bye take care